The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is packed with an impressive camera system that delivers top-tier performance in both photography and videography. However, despite having access to some of the most advanced camera hardware, Samsung has chosen not to equip its latest flagship with the 200-megapixel ISOCELL HP9 telephoto sensor. You might be wondering, why would Samsung sell this powerful sensor to its competitors, but not use it in its own top-tier device? Well, while Samsung hasn't officially explained its decision, industry insiders have analyzed the situation and provided some interesting insights. One key reason is that competitors using the ISOCELL HP9 sensor aren't seeing huge success in terms of sales. According to industry tipster at Universities, smartphones that feature this high-end telephoto sensor are more like muscle-showing products rather than mainstream flagship models. In simpler terms, these phones are meant to showcase impressive technology, but they aren't mass-produced or sold in large quantities. Meanwhile, Samsung's Ultra series continues to dominate the market, the sales of all competing Ultra devices combined still don't surpass the Galaxy S Ultra's numbers. This suggests that while innovative camera sensors might grab attention, they don't necessarily translate into widespread sales. Another major factor is Samsung's commitment to design. The ISOCELL HB9 sensor is significantly thicker than the sensors currently used in Samsung's flagship devices. Many high-end Android phones that prioritize camera power end up with massive camera modules which can make the phone bulkier and less sleek. Samsung, on the other hand, has spent years refining its design identity, focusing on a balance of power, aesthetics, and user experience. Simply adding a larger camera sensor at the cost of a streamlined design isn't something Samsung is willing to do. Moreover, Samsung doesn't feel pressure to follow its competitor's approach. Unlike some brands that introduced advanced camera technology for the sake of marketing, Samsung appears to be taking a more strategic, long-term approach. The company is prioritizing features like AI-powered enhancements, improved software experiences, and a sleek, recognizable design rather than just pushing hardware boundaries. That being said, Samsung isn't entirely opposed to experimenting with NIC products. The release of the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition was a sign that Samsung is willing to explore limited edition high-tech devices. Rumors also suggest that the upcoming Galaxy S25 Edge might follow a similar strategy catering to a smaller audience with unique features. However, when it comes to mainstream flagship devices like the S25 Ultra, Samsung remains committed to a balanced approach that appeals to a wider audience. At the end of the day, Samsung seems to be playing the long game. Instead of simply packing in the most extreme hardware, the company is focusing on creating a well-rounded experience that emphasizes design, AI capabilities, and user-friendliness. And given the continued success of its Ultra series, it's safe to say that this strategy is working well for Samsung.